Hello y'all, I'm Nancy of Nancy's Notions and welcome to my channel. I'm a part-time reseller of pre-loved items. I sell on eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. I hope you enjoy these videos. I will show you what I bought, what I sold, and how much I sold it for. Thanks for watching. Welcome back y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions and I have another what sold clip for you. Today is Friday, November the 24th, and I have five sales so far. These would be sales from um, yesterday and then so far today. I am running a Black Friday uh, week-long sale in my store and uh, for an extra 15% off. So I'm hoping that that'll boost some, boost some sales to kick off the holiday shopping season. So let's take a look. All right, uh, these are all eBay sales. I haven't had any sales on any other platforms so far. Uh, first, we have this, it's a mint silhouette. I think you can make stamps with it. It has the, this little, that's I think what actually makes the stamps and then the power cords and one of the uh, plates and some ink, some of which has been opened, some of which has been not, has not. Um, I didn't fully test it, but I did plug it in and it does turn on. So I just listed it as is, parts of repair. And I paid $6 for this um, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. And then we sold this little wooden rocking horse. I paid 99 cents for him and he sold for $9.50. The paint uh, that came out of the rocket box, I just put the, since I paid $10 for the box and I made two lots, the paint and then a lot of, with the unopened rocket and the engines and the wadding, all of that, I lotted together. But this sold by itself um, with a $5 buy cost and it sold for full price of $25. And then we have a set of four Christmas, um, appetizer plates. They each one have a little Christmas tree on them. These are crate and barrel and I think I bought these last December so I've had them for quite a while and I paid three dollars for those and they sold for $19.99 and then this is um, I have quite a few um, leather jackets from a co-worker uh, so we're splitting that 50-50. This one is a and they are all vintage. Uh, this one is Ground Zero and uh, size 38, made in Korea. It sold for $59.99. Uh, they did use the coupon, I believe. And my buy cost will be approximately $25. That's what I will uh, want after shipping and fees. Um, it'll be about $50. And I'll just split that with my friend. I hope you have enjoyed this What Sold clip. Um, I'll try to be back later with a haul. I have uh, two different ones. One where we went to the flea market last weekend. And then we went to the flea market on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I went to the, the Samaritan Center in Ottawa. And I brought back some things from there. So I'll try to get those in this video. Shouldn't be a problem. Hope everybody else is having a great day. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions, and I have a haul from the Samaritan Center, which is a, um, a thrift store close to me in Ottawa. and I went last Sunday. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff for anything big dollar, but it it is some stuff, <laughs> so let's take a look at it. Um, as usual, I'll try to put comps up on the screen uh, for the things that I found. Um, first, this is an interesting thrift store because they have a side where everything is clean and organized and clearly priced and, and I guess it's their newer side. And then they have another side that's like the discount side. So most of this stuff came from the, um, the discount side. I only found one thing on the full price side and that was this uh, Phantom of the Opera snow globe. It does work. I paid $5 for it. And it just has one, I don't, it's on the inside of the glass. I'm not sure why that's there. Some kind of blemish on the inside of the glass, but it is a, a nice snow globe. So we'll take a look into that. And then on the other side is where I got everything else. So I got this uh, pot, it's a smaller pot, 
but it has this cute little graphic on it. Uh, this one was actually five dollars. Still got a little tape residue on there. It has this insert, and I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess that's for canning, because that's what like a big canning insert looks like. But it's such a small little pot. But it's a nice color, and I figured it'd make a nice you know decor piece for someone. And it has a there's a little bit of roughness around the edges there, but other than that, it was in good shape. And that was five dollars. Um, I also found this chrome metal bowl. And normally I wouldn't pick up something like this, but look at this little blue feet. That's three little, little peg feet on there and they're very nice cobalt blue. They are plastic. Um, the mark on the bottom made in Brazil and well, we'll figure it out eventually. But it does have some little scratches in it from use, but it's a nice, a nice bowl, so pick that up. And it was $2. And then I found this little plastic, it's a metal frame, and it has a little plastic um, seat in it, just like a little lounge chair. I don't, I don't know, but it has Snoopy on it. Um, and it was 50 cents, maybe. This was cool. Um, picked it up. It was 40 cents. And oh, what is this? It's like a little travel scale, like a little food scale. And it might be a little bit off there. I'm not sure if it can be adjusted. Haven't looked. Oh yeah, here we go. It's got a little adjustment wheel there in the back. So it can be whatever that is. Calibrated. This little bag of Snoopy characters. There's Schroeder and his piano. And then two Snoopies. This one, um, I think Snoopy is a Frankenstein. And the other one, he's just hugging Woodstock. So. And these were, actually, I think I got these at the Goodwill. They were $3. I got some Goodwill things mixed in here. This is just a single Lusterware. It would be an appetizer plate. You can see there's the spot where the cup would go. But I thought that the graphic was really nice with the little crane sitting in there so for 60 cents and it is gold castle hand painted usa this guy I just thought was cute look at him he's got his basket of vegetables and i think an axe and a pig he probably came originally as a pair like with there was probably a woman that's usually how these types of things come but he is a hobby piece, um, but he's very nicely done. It does have a little chip right there on the edge of his hat and a little uh, paint chip on the top. And he was 40 cents. It's another Goodwill find. One moment, let me see. I haven't even taken it out to see if all the pieces are there, but it is a vintage um, little Christmas tree uh, stand. Let's see what's in there. Looks like it has all its pieces. Here's the ring that goes on top, uh, the little basket that the tree stem will sit in, and then three legs, um, and then three bolts. So that looks to be complete. And um, it is a junior number 108 lifetime Christmas tree stand. And it originally came from a store called Caldor, and it was probably $2.99, maybe, SB Manufacturing, so I just thought that was kind of neat, I'll have to get that one listed quick, someone may need that for their tiny tree, let me get this back in the box. Also found this painting at the Goodwill, and I think it was also $4. When I picked it up, I thought, geez, this is mighty heavy for a tiny painting. It has a piece of glass on the front, but the picture is actually painted on the front of a piece of glass. It's not reverse painted. Um, then it is signed down there. I can't read the name, but I think it says 73. And then at, um, back to the Samaritan Center, um, I got this uh, Degas print of the ballerina. The frame is not the best. I may take it out of the frame. I'll have to take it apart and see because it's not very big. It has prices down there that I don't know. They're European, maybe? Um, from a place called Randolph. It looks like German, maybe. 
So I don't know where it traveled from, but I thought it was a really nice print. And that was uh, $2. And then we got this little basket. It was 55 cents. These are kind of clay. The basket and the flowers on the front are like a, a, a clay. And then the leaves are actually painted on the basket. Just a nice little decorator piece. And then last, whenever I find Panama Jack hats, it's always at this store. So this one is a Panama Jack. I don't know if it's um, vintage or not, but this one is in much better shape than the last one I found there. Just a straw hat. And those uh, usually sell pretty good for me too. All right, so that's all. F oh, the, the hats are a quarter. So I paid a quarter for the hat. Um, that's all for that little haul. Uh, I went there last Sunday, I believe, and picked these things up. So I hope you enjoyed this clip, and uh, I hope everybody's having a great week so far, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions, and I have another What Sold clip for you. Today is Saturday, November the 25th, and I have six sales today. Uh, five on eBay and one on Mercari. I, and I guess all of these are from yesterday. I haven't actually had a sale yet today, but I'm going to go ahead and get these packed up and shipped out. So I have less to take on Monday. Let's get to it. All right, we'll start with our one Mercari sale, and it is this um, Old Spice glass mug or shaving. I guess it's like a shaving mug. And I paid a dollar for that and it sold for $13. And then on eBay, we sold these uh, foil prints. They're uh, Dufex. And they're, this one is Ducks. And then the other side is a Mountain. And yes, it does have a wrinkle in it, but that was noted in the listing. These are actually free. Um, I bought a set of prints in frames. I decided to the frames weren't in very good shape, so I took them apart, and bes behind the prints that I bought were these. So, a uh, bonus. And they sold for $17.99 for the pair. And then we have this plush, the dog, uh, Boston Terrier. And I paid $2 for him, and he sold for $11.99. And then the uh, Treasure Craft uh, cat holding a fish bowl that I bought a few weeks back at an estate sale. I think I paid $4 for the whole thing. And so I split it up and I listed the lid, the bowl, and then the base separately. Um, once I got it home, I noticed that the lid did have a significant chip out of the one side. So I listed it fairly cheap and um, that sold for $10. I paid about $1.30. And uh, then this string of lighted holly with variegated leaves. Um, this came in a box lot from a, an online auction, I don't know, a year or more ago. And they do work, so I paid roughly 15 cents, and they sold for $24.99. And then the last thing is uh, Burger's Smokehouse Steak Knife in its little case. I don't know where this place is, but over the it even has it on the blade. I got this at, I don't know, I think a little junk store that was going out of business. Oh no, I think this came in the same auction lot as these lots actually. So I've had it quite a while, but um, I don't know, probably a year later, I bought a bunch of stuff at a little store that was going out of business and I found coasters for Burger's Smokehouse. This, I have that I paid a dollar and it sold for $11.98. So that's all that I have um, getting packed up to go out today. Hope everybody else is having a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. Do you ever take a road that you've never driven down before in your own town and find a fabulous surprise? <laughs> we did that the other day um, on Friday because I, I was off work on Friday, so... We took a shortcut to going somewhere else and passed by this little shop that I never even knew was there. So we stopped in and found some great stuff. Um, I do want to go back again and look a little more thoroughly, but I think we did good on our first pickup. 
He said he doesn't advertise anywhere, just word of mouth, and that's fine by me. He told me to tell my friends, but I'm not. But uh, if I had any Rufus reseller friends here, I would tell them, but I don't. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. I'm going to show you what we picked up. Let's take a look. All right. Um, so first, not those, um, I got these two trivets, cast iron and tile trivets. This uh, amber, blue side amber grapes. A little Indiana glass uh, kitty cat votive in the green color. I, I usually only find clear, so the green was nice. And then this green fish, which may or may not be old, uh, but again, I just like the color. And I got all of these things for $20. Clint Eastwood photograph, I'll bring that back. But he had this clock, which works and chimes. Um, it is a Revere electric clock, um, very mid-century. It has a little, a little blemish there, and then kind of a little dark spot up here, and a little uh, paint loss around the edge. But other than that, it is perfect. Here's the back, and then there's the. Um, label Revere Electric Clock Model R939 and it chimes on the hour and the half hour and then inside the little door there's the the guts I think I'll probably just take a little canned air maybe and blow out the dust um, but here oops is the name of the clockmaker uh, it's from Lexington Kentucky I wish it was dated but it's not unless it's that Maybe it's six of 78. I don't know, that seems a little late. But anyway, or maybe that's a motor number. We paid $35 for this clock. And I couldn't find any others. Like I found one that had sold for around $70, but it was parts only that was in this shape, you know, this style. Um, but I didn't find any others listed or sold of this style. So I'm probably going to list it high, um, maybe around two, 250 and see what happens. So, um, we'll look a little bit more closely at these other things that I got. So it's just a couple of these little hand painted, um, cast iron and tile trivets and they are made in Japan. And then the Lusat uh, grapes. I've only, I had another set of these a while back and they were red, I think. Um, and they sold pretty good. So I was excited to find these. And then the little Indiana glass cat, as you can tell, I haven't cleaned any of these, but he doesn't have any chips or cracks. And then the blue green glass fish. Again, it, it may be a modern, a modern fish but he's still a nice color I think this is uh, people like this color glass so I think it was $20 for these things and then 35 for the clock we did pay 25 for the picture um, and comps are kind of uh, it's the one where he's in the bathtub in the good the bad and the ugly and it's like um, I would say it's probably like 8 by 11 like landscape and then it's in a it's, it's a nice frame but the frame's a little bit too big for it so I'll probably sell it separate uh from the picture um because it's kind of a nice rustic frame so um I will try to put up a screenshot of it as I don't have it out here with me and then I will put up comps uh on the screen for the other things that I have here I hope you enjoyed this little haul from my new find just about a mile from me <laughs> And I hope everybody else is having a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. Nancy with Nancy's Notions, and I'm back with another What's Old clip. It is Sunday, November the 26th, and I have six sales, uh, one on Poshmark and five on eBay. Let's take a look. All right, um, our one Poshmark sale is this lot of, I think there's five, neckties in here. Um, this came out of the big box of ties that I got at a yard sale for a dollar. So I paid about 13 cents for these and they sold for $18.
And then this is a William Rogers uh, ladle. I think the pattern is called Memory Hiawatha. And this was just something that we had here. So zero by cost and it sold for $8.50. They did use a coupon uh, for my promotion. A couple of these sold on promoted or um, with the coupon. Um, next we have this little Douglas cuddle toy uh, orange tabby cat. And I paid 50 cents for him and they also used the coupon. So he sold for $15 and 28 cents. And then we have a Webkins with the code, a little rabbit. And I paid 99 cents for him and he sold for $6. I've had him for a very long time. So I think I had him listed for 10 and I got an offer for six and I went ahead and took that. Then we have a cobalt blue a glass coffee mug and it's the silver dollar city crafts cast mm, crafts oh my <laughs> crafts capital of america doesn't have oh it does say made in the usa on the bottom and then this is like a little pewter badge on there i paid a dollar for this and i took an offer of six uh, seven dollars and 65 cents and then last we have the treasure craft um the cat holding a fishbowl uh, cookie jar. We sold the lid the other day, and today we sold the fishbowl. And a dollar thirty-three for this. It was eight dollars or four dollars for the whole set, and I just split it up. It sold for twenty dollars. All right, so that's all of the um, all of the items that we have going out. Uh, this would have been sales from uh, yesterday and today. So I'll get these packed up so I can drop them off at the post office tomorrow. Hope everybody else had a great weekend, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back, y'all. It is Monday, November the 27th, and I've got another What Sold clip for you. We have six sales today, uh, two on Macari and four on eBay. Let's take a look. Our Macari hmm, sales are this um, Max, it's the dog from the Grinch, and he sold for... What did he sell for? $13. And I paid $2 for him. And I've had him, I don't I think maybe almost a year. And then our second sale is the Phantom of the Opera music box. I just listed it. It was the last thing I listed last night. And somebody bought it within hours. So I paid $5 for that. And it sold for $27 with free shipping. So I'll do uh, get my shipping label from Pirate Ship on that one. And then on eBay, we sold this, um, it's a lot of two uh, beech nut chewing tobacco bell buckles. This one is kind of a silver color. And then the other one is like a brass color. And I paid $4.50 for these at an estate sale, I believe. And they sold on offer for $14. I've had them for a little while, so I just went ahead and took that offer. They are going international to Great, Great Britain, I believe. And then uh, this pair of um, metal leaves, or they're oak leaves, and each set of leaves has three acorns on it. I don't remember where I got these, but I did pay $2 for them, and they sold for $13.60. And then this uh, Harley Davidson uh, size large dog jacket. Um, this is uh, part of the coat lot that I'm splitting with my friend from work. I paid $25.48. They did use the coupon. And uh, so my cost will be about $10. So, because this will probably, this is not very heavy. And it'll probably cost, I don't know, four to five dollars to ship. So, and then the last thing is this little stained glass nativity. Um, it does hold uh, votive candles here or tea lots, either one. And I paid two dollars for that at an estate sale and it sold for $19.99. I had it listed, I think, for $27. And then I sent someone an offer today and they, 
they took it right away. So, all right. So that's all I've got going out for today. I hope everybody else has had a great start to their week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Welcome back y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions and I have another what sold clip for you. It is Wednesday, November the 29th and I have, and I have five sales on eBay. I also had two sales yesterday that I didn't film because it was cold. And I only had those two things to pack up, so I came out here and packed them up, and I'll put up screenshots of those. Um, one of them was a dice game by Fireside Games, and it was Bears. It was still sealed. Um, I paid $2 for it, and I didn't write down how much I sold it for, but it'll be in the screenshot. And then on that was on eBay, and then on Poshmark, I sold the, um, the Rainbow Rainmate air freshener thingy and it sold for $29 and I paid $6 for that at an estate sale. Let's take a look at today's sales. All right um so today we have this is an apples to apples game. It has been open but it is complete and I paid I bought a big um Ziploc bag of card games at an estate sale so I paid about a quarter for this and it sold for $17. And um, this is a Suzuki recoil for like a four wheeler. And this is one of my husband's things. So I have no buy cost on that. And it sold for $68. We have a lot of 15 crackle glass marbles. And I paid about $3 for these and they sold for $14. And all of these are plus shipping. Um, the base to our treasure craft, it held a fish bowl, uh, like a cookie jar, or I guess you could actually use it for a fish bowl. Um, I bought the whole thing at an estate sale for $4, and then I just parted it out. I've already sold the lid and the bowl, and so this is the last piece. I paid about $1.33 for this, and it sold for $25.50. And then the last thing, and yes, it's dusty because I've had it for a minute. This is a Fenton um, milk glass with the purple, uh, purple crest, I guess they would call it, amethyst crest maybe. And it is unpainted. Most, uh, most of the ones you see of these have some kind of flowers or something painted on them. Um, I actually bought two of these for $20 at a, at just like a yard sale. Couldn't find any others like it, um, that had not been painted. So I listed them high. I actually only listed this one and I figured when I sell this one, I'll list the other one. So time to list the other one. So I paid $10 for this and I got an offer today of 200 and I took it. 10 into 200, I'll take that. It does have free shipping. I did an end um, and sell similar on eBay just last night with it and lowered the price to 265 and put free shipping on it. So that must have prompted either someone's saved search or made it more, or I don't think I ended it. I think I just edited the listing. So, cause it had quite a few watchers on it. So I'm guessing that one of those watchers saw that the price went down and um, sent an offer. But anyway, it sold. <laughs> All right, so that's a pretty good sales day for me. I'm glad to see it. I hope everybody else is having a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, y'all. Nancy from Nancy's Notions and I completely forgot what day of the week it was, so I'm a day late with this video. Apologize for everybody who was looking for it on Thursday, but today, at this time you get it on Friday. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And normally I have a new one every Thursday, except on weeks when you just forget what day it is. If you enjoyed this content, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.